Hey guys, so it's time here to check out the browser performance here a little bit uh, on these iOS 8.1.3 devices. So we're just gonna start off here uh, with the iPhone 4S and see, you just go into the browser here. And uh, now first of all, the iPhone 4S is a pretty small uh, phone and it doesn't have uh, exactly the same kind of speeds uh, you can't get up and get the same kind of internet speeds uh, on this device but uh, it seems to be working pretty fine here actually so that could be pretty pretty good to know I might do a full review as well um, checking out a little bit overall the bad thing of course is that when you are no, actually the text, this is a good thing. Uh, the iPhone still, uh, the iPhone 4S still, uh, you can see the text and read it when you are zoomed out. And I mean, it's very, very impressive how it doesn't have any like weird problems, like graphical problems, even on the latest version here of uh, iOS. Maybe there they take some time there to load up a new page. Let's see here. Yeah, you can just tap there to go back. And you should also be able to still just go back like so to an earlier page. Still loading. And sometimes when you go move to the side, it can be a little bit slow. You can also see when you go in quick and go out, you know. Just also see if we go out. So it seems to be a pretty okay update actually. Uh, let's check it out here on the iPhone 5 and this one of course is a little bit bigger uh, but uh, is it like a big difference yeah I, I think you can call it that I mean you can definitely notice that it's way snappier especially when you go in and out still have some problems though you know loading up things but if we would like compare it against like Android I mean it's like night and day uh, what I would like though is I would like a feature to be able to go up and down quick you can see it's still very very slow uh, if you want to move up fast you can also use, I think double tap up here but if you want to scroll fast to a place, uh, that's still very, very hard to do. You can also see when you move it between apps, it's like way quicker uh, than what we do get with the uh, iPhone 4S, even though the iPhone 4S still performs very, very well. Now, of course, the um, the other phone here, the 5C, is um, is 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 uh, used having the same kind of internals as the as the iPhone 5. So I mean, very very similar uh, experience. Takes some longer time here to load stuff up. I'm not sure why. I mean, they do have a different, this one has plastic body design, but I don't think that should matter that, that much. As you can see, no weird problems, which is nice. Uh, let's check it out here on the twice as fast iPhone 5S. And I mean, it's interesting how still when you go in and out quick, I mean, 
you can still see it has to load up some render re-render again but the good thing with Apple is that they are very very good at like having quality uh, over all of their devices as you can see go out there go in again switch between apps between these the iPhone and the the iPhone 5s I mean you're not really gonna notice a difference but it could still be good there to know that still seems to be rocking pretty fine I find it a little bit annoying sometimes if I go like this and I want to go down I can't I have to like release I'm not sure why they do that it's a little bit annoying of course great reading mode here you can just tap on and it's probably one of the fastest one on the market how quick you can go into that mode very very uh, impressive stuff actually I, if I have to if I can say so myself Now let's check it out here on the little bit faster, a uh, little bit faster iPhones here, like the iPhone 6. Now here's like a completely different experience, just because the display is so much bigger. 4.7 inch was actually one of the biggest, like step up in for phones, uh, for iPhones at least, because usually iPhones doesn't make that big of a step up. But I mean. It completely makes the, exp the viewing experience and experience with the device so much, so much more fun. Here you have a pretty, pretty nice device. I mean, you 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 feel like you are more engaged with what you're doing. And then of course we do have the bigger iPhone, even bigger, the yeah. Yeah, iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, you see even more here, I mean, it's pretty intense. It feels like they can still make a lot of improvements in, uh, you know, as I said there, the scrolling and sometimes when you go in and out, it feels like they could make some, some more enhancements, actually. I don't like how it has to like re-render and stuff like that it should already I think it already should be rendered inside uh, because it's just a page do they really have to re-render it that much and you can see here I just want to do a quick swipe and go to the whole over the whole page as, as I can do on most uh, Android smartphones uh, but it's not not like a major Thing that annoys me one thing that annoys me here definitely also is that I mean a lot of things is not really optimized for the iPhone 6 plus display you can kind of see here I can't even zoom in I mean the reading mode definitely not doesn't look optimized here for um, for this device which is definitely annoying and I also seen that with other apps like Instagram apps and a ton of other apps that I mean it's really kind of bad I mean, this could also be just this article, but I think that this actually is, I mean, you can kind of see how good it is here on the iPhone 5S, like perfect size. Uh, I wonder if you can change that. Maybe you can change that. Or it is because they are bigger. Let's see here. Yeah, it could use to have been uh, that little article over there, probably. But if I would say overall, there is not really that big of a difference between these devices, at least not the, uh, if you go from the dual core, uh, or I mean all of the all are the cool but yeah if you go from the iPhone 5 to the iPhone 6 I mean the iPhone 5 still is a very very <laughs> capable device uh, I really don't see any like massive reason to to upgrade 
uh, if you do know a massive reason to upgrade then uh, that would be a little bit fun to hear but I don't really see that uh, so yeah just quickly a video check out the browser I was 8.0.3 still seems to be rocking pretty fine so that's that's definitely good news so yeah have an awesome day